Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of uh, DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I uh, wanted to kind of talk about um, what if you had a piece of material like this and you needed to engrave both sides and you needed it indexed exactly the same. How would you go about it? Um, so in this episode, we're going to talk about it. It's going to be kind of a quick video, but I think a very helpful video because when I was doing some stuff, um, I, I needed to do that, and I didn't really, you know, know an easy way, especially when I have and the material is going to be about this same size, and again, I want to cut it out in the end. I needed to be able to index it perfectly. So what I did is this. As I took a piece of cardboard, put it in there, held it down with painter's tape, and took and cut out basically the size of my material. And so basically what happens is I can set my material in here. It basically is indexed perfectly to the size. So I can go ahead, I can cut it. And then what I can do is I can take it out, flip it around, and do the other side. And then again, this is indexed basically perfectly in there. Um, this sample I'm using, and I cut to the sample, is not perfectly a rectangle. That's why you have a little bit of a gap here. But uh, you basically get the idea. So whether it's a circle or whatever shape you're using, you can basically cut it out. So as you see, uh, uh, I was doing a test here on a heart shape. I could have even cut, cut out the heart shape and indexed it so I could flip the heart over so long as so long as whatever object you're using is symmetrical, you can flip it on, on each side. So again, I thought this was really a neat little tip and trick um, to help make workflows easier on the laser uh, because a lot of what you know, you're doing, like if you're doing maybe some keychains or something, you want something on uh, each side, especially if it's colored. This is really an easy way to do it for, for small runs. And again, if you have a bigger run, um, again, you can put a bigger piece of cardboard in here and, you know, say you have one inch by one inch, you could just simply cut a bunch of one inch by one inches out, and then that way you can gang them up and, and do a bunch of them at once. So just because I'm just doing one at a time here doesn't mean if you have something that fits on your bed, you can't do more than one at a time and, and set up your workflow like that. So anyways... Um, Hopefully this video helped improve your workflow. If it did, hey, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a like down below. It really helps us out make more of these videos. Also, subscribe to the channel. You're going to be a lot more coming uh, workflows and tips on utilizing this uh, laser. It's uh, you know turned out to be a very handy uh, device around the shop, so expect more of this. Um, over here on the other side, which you can't see, or maybe you can see a little bit out of the corner right there, We've got the uh, two watt laser project. Uh, again, I'm waiting for a new diode to come. So we're gonna be doing some more stuff with that. Um, I think it's gonna be really neat. I wanna show uh, uh, doing shirts and things like that with that unit. So a lot of stuff coming on lasers. The CNC's over there. Uh, we're gonna revive that uh, series here in a little bit. Um, doing some stuff in combination with the uh, laser cutter with the CNC and we'll also be doing a comparison. Uh, we also got a new uh, 3D printer coming on its way, so to go with the DaVinci over there. Um, so we sold uh, the, the uh, two up on eBay, just uh, closed that out today. So again, a lot more stuff coming on this channel. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.